Hello, welcome back to my Pacific Coast Trail journey. Uh, it is August 13th. It is 6.30. I am at a campground. You can probably hear people in the background. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. So if this is your first time tuning in, uh, my name is Suzanne and I'm the writer and photographer for the blog Barking and Barkers, which is all about traveling adventures with your dog. And our ooh, traveling adventure is the Pacific Crest Trail, except uh, we were derailed after a thousand miles by um, my health. So um, I have a week off here and we're just making the best of it having a good time um we rented a car come on come on come on come on yeah we rented a car and uh we uh started exploring so we um it's really hot out and my brain is a little bit fried because of what i think is the um health condition <laughs> that's basically my muscles are deteriorating and um like they're impacting my liver and kidneys and I'm just a little bit like blech <laughs> but we're doing good um it's hot and I think that also plays a role in why I'm feeling so blech because I don't like the heat in the first place so when you add heat and uh, needing to be extremely hydrated to flush out your liver and kidneys, um, I just don't do very well. <laughs> um, yeah, those are the drunk girls who are being really loud right now. <laughs> um, Chloe, come on. No, no, come on. Chloe's having fun. There's so many chipmunks and rodents in this area that she's like, Mom, let's go. I want to go. But, uh, yeah, so we're staying at a really cool campground. It was $20, which I was like, meh, I don't really want to pay $20. But then I drove in, I checked out the campsites, and oh my god, they're so nice. There's, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Huge, huge campsites. Water, toilets, on a creek, on a 95 degree day. Like, it's, uh, it was hard to pass by. So I am making my way up to Leavenworth. And yesterday, uh, Chloe and I caught the meteor shower in a beautiful campsite that was right off of a highway. Um, and I drove like basically as far back as you could go in that campsite. And it was this big open field area with a creek significantly smaller than this one. It was like a actual creek. Um, it was bubbling. <laughs> And it was running right alongside us, so we put up the hammock, and we rested all day there, and um, we really enjoyed that campsite. And it was, like, enough trees to have shade and to set up the hammock, but also a bubbling creek that was, like, staggeringly beautiful. So, I loved it. Um, then... Yeah, uh, we caught the meteor shower. We saw like five meteors before I fell asleep and we just kept the um, hammock open and we could just like see all the stars and it was magical. <laughs> so magical. So last night was awesome and it was cooler too. So today was a little bit rough. I'm not feeling quite as well as I was yesterday um, and I think it's just because it's hot. So we... Uh, we did a little bit of exploring um, by Leavenworth. So I came out here when I was 24 years old working in Walla Walla. It happened to be Oktoberfest. And um, this was before I had Chloe. Um, and I had no idea what to expect because Oktoberfest is crazy. I did not know that it was Oktoberfest. I came up here to go hiking and we, I, Chloe was not in my life yet. <laughs> I hiked uh, this trail. It was called Kolchuk Lake and it was part of the enchantments. And there are those beautiful mountains that you're seeing up there, but they're even more spiky and beautiful that way. 
<laughs> so I hiked um, to this beautiful lake, but it was October and it was frozen and it was snowing. So I did not make it as far as I wanted to, unfortunately. So um, it was still beautiful. It was such an awesome experience. And I remembered the mountains and I remember driving to Kolchak Lake being absolutely stunning. I was like, I just, I'm just gonna go drive up to it and just see uh, what I run into. And it was actually a really good day. So drove into Leavenworth, went into Safeway, got to some snacks, some grub and snacks and stuff. And then uh, we um, drove down this road. And yeah, it was awesome. Chloe just farted. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> Um, and uh, there was like a waterfall and like a wit water mill going. Um, so we stopped and we took a picture of that and then it was super busy cause it's Sunday and there was trailheads just packed with cars, totally packed. And I started driving out to Kolchak and I'm in this rental car and it was starting to get a little bit sketchy. So, <laughs> so I turned around because the road wasn't very well maintained and continued on the paved road. And then when the paved road ran out, um, it turned into a gravel road. And then there were all these campsites and um, we found this one. It was available and it's beautiful. And even though it kind of hurts to spend $20 to camp, but I've been camping for free <laughs> all summer um, with my PCT permit, um, it's worth it. It's really good. And it, it still feels weird to be around muggles, which are people who are not through hikers, but I'm just happy to see people outside. So that's what matters. And it's a good reminder that even when the doctor's like, don't walk, don't walk at all. <laughs> you can still get outside. You can still enjoy it. Uh, you can still put your feet into a beautiful river on a hot day and sit in a hammock in the shade and just enjoy it. I've been doing a lot of writing um, and it's just kind of letting me reflect on just everything that's been happening in the last thousand miles of the trail. Um, and it's just a reminder, even if I can't finish, if, you know, in a week we redo my labs and I'm still having really bad health issues, um, you know what? It is what it is. I walked a thousand miles this summer <laughs> and I just need to make sure I recognize how awesome that is. And so did this girl. I did it with my dog. <laughs> So even if we can't finish, if we can't tag the border, if uh, in a week our labs say that we're still sick, I am recognizing how lucky I am, how much I've learned, and how much I've grown in the last thousand miles. And I do think just writing about it and reflecting on it and all the healing I've done um, is really powerful. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Uh, I would say something I've learned, especially today, and... I've talked about going back to places previously in this um, YouTube series on the PCT and after um, I lost my house, my little traveling house in a fire, I ended up back in that same town <laughs> and actually on the same mountain that I summited while there were so many unknowns going on. Um, and it was just like, I made so many good memories there. Seth and I had so much fun in Ashland. We had a thunderstorm on Mount Ashland and we could watch the lightning hit the summit. And it was like, even though that was scary, it was so cool. So this is another time I'm coming back to a place I've been before. But that was six years ago. <laughs> and I'm just remembering how much I've grown in six years in my job, in my profession as a person, how much Chloe has added to my life, being able to do things with her, um, but also on my own. And it's, uh, it's just kind of a full circle in a lot of ways, but also, 
um, a part of weaving the quilt together of my life, if that makes sense, where something comes together and it's just kind of, you know, you see the mountain that you climbed when you were 24 and you're like, that was really cool. I'm proud of myself for doing that. And just realizing that that's kind of a circle that came together this summer. That was unexpected. I wasn't supposed to see these mountains. So kind of, kind of cool how things work out. Um, the other thing I'm learning is I said it like, God, and I shouldn't have said it because I think it was a curse. <laughs> it was right after we got Trail Magic and we were heading toward uh, Mount Rainier National Park. And I said, I don't know what this next mountain will hold, but whatever it holds, I'm ready for it. And that's life. Like we go through mountains in our lives. We climb mountains, go through valleys. And, uh, you know, we never know what's around the next corner. And that's the same thing on the Pacific Crest Trail. You could round the corner and end up having horrific cramps in your legs. <laughs> and you're like, what? These are just Charlie horses. This isn't anything. We're just going to sleep it off. And it doesn't sleep off. And then you're lucky you're not in the hospital. So <laughs> that was, that was, yeah, that was something I learned. You just don't know what's going to happen next and you roll with whatever comes up in your life. So whatever happens, roll with it because um, you never know. Everything, everything happens when it happens and we just have to embrace it. Otherwise, what are we doing? We're fighting with ourselves. It's better to just enjoy the river you're on and um, yeah, be there, be, be where you are. Um, however, I will admit, I walked by a lot of hiking trails today and it did kill me a little bit, <laughs> uh, to see all those people outside walking with their packs, people getting ready to do the enchantment hikes, which are not dog friendly. Fun fact. That was another reason I turned around. I saw a sign and it said no dogs allowed in the enchantments. It's like, what? And yeah, not only was the road scary, but nope, she can't be in that area. And I didn't know that. It was the last time I hiked it. Um, she wasn't born yet. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, this is 12 minutes, so I can let you guys go. But, um, you know, I hope you all are staying healthy and happy. And whenever it feels like life is kind of knocking you off your feet a little bit, just uh, do what you can to enjoy it because... You can do a lot to enjoy it and I will say that this is kind of a fun side trip <laughs> and I get to be in Leavenworth um, get the rental car put away we have Seth will be there and we'll see um, about my labs a li little bit later this week and uh, yeah I'll keep you guys updated but next time you hear from me it will be in Leavenworth um, which I'm excited for I kind of want to do it downtown but um, yeah, it's a special town. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Anyway, happy tales, happy trails. Chloe sends her love. Rivers and rivers of love. Take care. Bye-bye.